so then it makes things like get like nurses out. Right, see, oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, she had a stash! She had a stash, look at that, so we got, wow. She had a stash of books, nice! Okay, we got, we got three science books, that's amazing! Greetings everybody and welcome to Let's Play 7 Days to Die Alpha 16 modded with Felic 1 1.1. We are now on episode 32. So guys, in the last episode we brought back all the stuff from our loot run that we had in the pharmaceutical building, which was, uh, I think it was in this town down here. Uh, yeah, it's this town down here. So we looted the pharmaceutical building, brought back everything, and yeah, we pretty much just brought it back here and now I'm back at base. Now, uh, my character's hungry, so we're just gonna like have some, uh, have some chicken burgers kind of thing, because we need, uh, we kind of need them. Um, however, we did get some grocery bags that we didn't open and I wanted to open them on camera with you guys because it's always nice to like you know put these down and see what we get because I, I find it always fun so let's go ahead and put these guys down and let's see so uh grocery bags let's go and have a little look and see what we get so in this one we got oh we got some bread cheese and eggs and corn and stuff and water okay that's pretty good and this one we got uh chicken we got yogurt that's good so we can make a yucky yogurt with that excellent so we actually got a load of good stuff from here including cheese which is something that I needed because I wanted to be able to make a uh I wanted to be able to make uh, some more chicken burgers uh which is going to be like pro like chicken burgers seem to be like my source of food right now like the the boiling water and stuff is is good uh, and it seems to be it seems to be a, my uh, my go-to kind of thing uh, right now so let me see if I can I, I actually need to see if I can find the chicken meat but I don't know where it is I did have some in here uh, I definitely I definitely grilled some I don't even the fire no there's the, there's the there's the eggs and we just need we just need like the grilled chicken I swear um, I swear I could have had some in here. I, I could have put it in there. Oh, there it is. There you go. Grilled chicken. And now you can go ahead and make some more chicken burgers. There we go. So make some chicken cheeseburgers. There we go. That was the awesome sauce. Let's go ahead and just wait for that to do. And then we can just put all the rest of our ingredients and stuff away in here. I could also make, um, I think I've got enough yucca for a yucca yogurt, haven't I? Uh, or do, or do I actually? Actually, it doesn't look, oh, no, 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 I have, I have nine here. So I should be able to turn this yogurt into a yucca one. There we go, so we can go ahead and do that. That only takes like three seconds, so that's like nothing. That's really, really quick. And then we can put the rest of the stuff in there. So unfortunately, we didn't get a chance at any, uh, we didn't get any, any shot of honey though, so that's kind of a shame. However, there has been a little update to Fennec Mod, guys. Now, uh, one thing that um, we've been struggling with is to raise our science skill. Now, one way we can raise it is to obviously, you know, make stuff that is to do with sciencey things. You know, that's, that, that's that's a fair way to raise it, and it's pretty easy to do. But uh, the science things always require like a workbench or something like that. So, for example, if we were to get, uh, do we have like turpentine extract here or anything? I swear we had some that we can use. Here we go. So we got some turpentine extract. So one thing I, that I would have to do, say, if I wanted to make like some healing agent, I would have to literally sit in a station like this and let the healing agent just be created you know so it's one, it's one of those things where i'd have to sit here to allow my science skill to level up now my science is actually level 36 so we're getting pretty close to being able to uh do some awesome stuff with it but you know what i mean it's it's a little bit of a eh kind of thing it's not it's not the ideal situation right so that's one thing now uh, actually i did want to go ahead and make some how do i make turpentine in the conversation is it murky water or is it regular i think it's murky uh for the turpentine extract or the turpentine oil even so turpentine extract extract is just turpentine oil and yeah so wood log and a bottle of murky water so we do have some more turpentine oil i want to turn more of those into turpentine extract because then we can go ahead and make the uh the healing agent stuff right so because that uh, because healing agent is great and then we can make the bandages with that so i definitely want to use those uh, but yeah if i wanted to make these things i would literally have to just you know sit in the chemistry station like this and you know it's not the best thing in the world because then it makes it you know I, although you do get some, and actually we get two temperature extract per, per thing, I forgot about that. Um, so yeah, uh, one of those will actually give you two in the chem station, so you actually get double uh, when you're on the chem station. So that's a really good thing. But you know what I mean, like you have to kind of wait a long time for it to actually be created. And then, you know, you don't know if it's going to like raise your science skill or not. So unfortunately that didn't. And then, you know, we can make some healing agent. But it's essentially like, if, uh, if uh, for me in like recording videos for you guys, it's not the, uh, it's not the easiest thing because then it means that I have to kind of wait in chem stations and stuff to level up my skills. So I actually added a, uh, a nice little change. Let's actually go and get some uh, cloth to make some of these uh, strong first aid bandages, because that's going to be something uh, that we want to do. And then we can go ahead and make strong first aid bandages. There we go, we can make 12 of those. Wow, we can actually make, I think we're going to have almost as much of these as we are going to have like the regular first aids, which is actually really, really good. So strong first aid bandages are awesome. They will heal you like by a good uh, by a good amount. But yeah, the uh, the strong first aid bandages is uh, a really good thing to have. And you know, just, just, just the amount of healing on them you know it's, it's great so 
you'll see that once you've done that, our science is slowly but surely going up. But you know, as you know, it, it could be better. It's not it's not really raising that quickly, right? So yeah, there's uh, there's that. It doesn't really raise that quickly, and you know, it's a little bit difficult. So another thing that we can do now is uh, all the note fragments that we get in the world, we can actually craft these into skill books now. So if I go and show you the recipes. I've added um, that you can craft each of those, you know the five skill books you can find in Cracker Books? You can now craft them from note fragments. Now, if you don't have a research desk, they cost 100 note fragments to craft. And this will be your regular three tier skill book, it will give you plus three in that skill. Um, however, if you do have the research desk, it only costs you 50. Um, so that means you can actually get double once you've completed your quest. So you, you now have like a reason to complete your quests and go from there. But I want to go ahead and get some science books. And uh, we can craft five of these, um, and that will raise my science skill by 15. And I'm actually going to use some of these note fragments to pretty much just boost my science skill, right? Because I want to I want to do that, and I think that's going to be kind of handy. Now, these things do take a long time to craft. So we're going to get 10, because that will increase my science by plus 30. And if we plus those, then that should get to plus 60. And that should allow me to get the science quality stuff. So I now just use a load of note fragments in the crafting of this stuff. But now, essentially, all we can do is go ahead and, you know, just, just read it. And that will help me get my science skill up. So science skill is now level 38. That should actually take it all the way to 40, which means that in my skills, I can now buy the uh, the quality perk uh, for level 4, which is awesome. And what that means is now that some of our other schematics, we should maybe be able to read them, right? So we should now be able to read the glassworking basics, which means we can make our own jars. So let's go ahead and read that one. Um, I think we can do glassworking for profit as well, uh, which requires also science 4. Yes, it does, so we can read that one now. Excellent! So we need... let's have a look and see what else there is. There's a glass advanced glassworking, which does require science 7, so that's a lot higher. All that we know. Uh, but now we can do things like lavatory upgrades for posh ponces, which is awesome! So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and uh, read that one. We can finally read this. That is awesome. And then all of these other things we can now we can now do. Uh, we can also do the plumbing for blind buggers as well, which is a really good one. So we can go ahead and read that one. And finally, we can do the oven repair for blind buggers as well, which is really good. So that means we can actually make ourselves a working oven, which is going to be really, really handy. Now, for the steel smithing, we actually require uh, weapon smithing and science 3. So science is actually fine. Uh, we can actually read some of these books as well, just to get out the skills as well. So we're going to go ahead and raise all our skills in science, and we're just going to raise these up, because it just makes a nice uh, it makes a nice thing. And it also gives you like the opportunity to go out and find... You know, it gives you more of a reason to go and loot cracker books and find stuff out in the world, you know? So getting note fragments now you now have more of a choice like schematics and note fragments are now both just as valuable because you use them in other things so this one requires science 7 i don't think there's anything else that we can learn that requires a lower science skill uh, the cement mixer requires um this requires science quality 5 so the cement mixer is what i want to go for because i really want to get concrete that's one thing i really want to get and we haven't really got too much of is concrete is one of those one of those things that i really want to try and work towards now and producing our own so being able to increase our science skill by getting note fragments um, it's going to be a really good thing because that is going to give us a good boost to the skill, and that's just going to be awesome, right? So let's go ahead and get the let's go ahead and get the wrench. Now, one thing I need for cement mixers is we need engines, right? So uh, we need to go out. We need to go ahead and find cars so we can take those apart and get engines. So in this episode, guys, we're going to be pretty much just exploring around, dismantling stuff, taking things apart, and just trying to get engines out of these cars and go from there. Because uh, getting engines from cars is you know, it's not a common thing, but it's, you know, it's kind of like, it's a little it's a little bit uncommon, so you can never really guarantee what you're going to get. But yeah, I want to see if we can get some engines, especially, like, particularly crappy quality engines, because the crappier they are, um, the more useful they are for workstations rather than being used in, like, generator banks and other such things. So yeah, getting crappy engines is something that I I would prefer. Um, but yeah, that's how we can uh, that's how we can go ahead and try and get these engines. So I did get one already, but I do want to make more like industrial grinders and stuff like that as well, because that's going to be really good. So lots and lots of stuff I want to be able to make. And now that we are raising our science skill, this is really opening things up for us, um, which is going to be very very handy later on down the line. Plus we get loads of gas as well, and you know, overall things are good. So we can go ahead and take these cars apart. We're just going to see if we get some engines. I also want to see if I can get my fermenting barrel set up today and see if we can make some cool stuff with that as well. Because um, there's some uh, there's some there's some really nice things we could do with the uh, fermenting barrel um, which uh, some recipes have been moved from the cement mixer to the fermenting barrel for example fertilizer is one of those things that we have moved so there's uh, there's a few things that I'll be able to show you uh, once we get that all set up so I now have an engine and a battery oh I have two engines now excellent so we do have uh, we do have two engines uh, one is the yellow quality one so I say any engine below a green is classed as a crappy one um, that's just that's just how I am like I, I find the engines below green so if you like mini bikes and stuff they don't really do that good a job at just you know getting you around kind of thing but yeah we're gonna go ahead and just essentially march through this town and we're gonna take all these cars apart that we can 
And because this wrench is so good as well, it means that uh, essentially we have uh, we have every everything in our power to take the cars apart quickly as well. So it shouldn't take me too long to go through a good number of these and take them apart, which is going to be awesome. So that's all my science books crafted up as well, which is really good. So let's go ahead and just take these guys apart, and we will go from there. So let's go and have a look. Um, okay, so did we get an engine? Nope, we got no engine. So let's go ahead and do this one. Um, and then we got this one. And then we can come over here. So the pawn loan ones we've done. Is there any other cars over here? So the, the, the kind of the husks of the cars we don't want. We want like the, the, the partially intact cars is the ones we want to use. Um, or even the fully intact ones like these. These ones are usually good as well. Plus we can loot the cars as well. And oh look, we even got a tool smithing book. Look at that. Let's read that. And we found a homemade iron shovel. But we've got a we got a factory grade one. So that is absolutely fine. We don't need to worry about that. But yeah, we're going to keep trying to take these cars apart. Just to see if we can get ourselves uh, all the stuff we're going to need. Um, because yeah, the more engines we have. We can start doing things like with power and generation and electricity and stuff as well. That would be really, really good as well. So there's, there's a lot of stuff I want to see if we can do. But for now, let's go ahead and just get this and see how we go. So did we get one out of that? We did not get one out of that. So yeah, some some cars don't give you any. Some give you like one. It just depends on the car. This car's like... I don't know how this car is like the way it is right now. Like, the physics don't work. This is crazy. But yeah, I can't, I can't, I don't, I can't quite fathom how that car is just there like that right now. But that's funny. Um, so where's my science for that right now? Um, can we get, uh, we can get science quality five now. There we go. So we'll buy that. So science quality five, uh, science six requires um, 80, but I think concrete mixing requires science quality five, which is awesome. So that means as soon as we can get the, uh, as soon as you can get like the cement mixer done, that means we have access to concrete mix, and that means we can actually uh, actually start building a proper base somewhere uh, with concrete. Because like the one we got over there was that worked so well. That was like that was an amazing base. But um, yeah, I kind of want to. I kind of want more. Like I want something. I want something that's like really our own, and it's actually going to be where we do everything. Not just not just fight the horde, but we're going to like do our crafting in there. We have all our workstations. We're going to make like some giant farms and stuff as well. You know, I kind of want a base which is everything. Because currently we're kind of like spread out. We have a mining outpost. We have a main base. We have a horde base kind of thing, and everything is like. I feel everything is spread quite thin, so if we can go ahead and you know remedy that with an actual base that pretty much is our central place of operations, that would be good. I would quite like that. So still getting more engines, though, but at least our construction tools is going up as well because we need our construction tools at 50 in order to get the. We need construction tools at 50 as well in order to get concrete mix. So that's something else that we need. So hence another reason why I am uh, another reason why I'm doing this because we need because we need to scale that high. Uh, so another reason another reason to take cars and stuff apart. Your construction tools uh, will go up slowly but surely. I don't think it goes up as much as like if you were to you know upgrade buildings and stuff like that and actually do construction stuff but it still goes up at a decent enough speed so you know that's good so we've got three cars over here this one's actually untouched we have copper building casings in there which i can just grab but yeah um i definitely want to see if we can like start getting ourselves like you know just just more of everything now because we've we've pretty much gone through the early game um and now that we can do oven repair we can make oven upgrade kits and that means we can yeah, upgrade our oven there's a weapon system book yay there we go let's read that and that's good with us uh, level 30 nice so weapons are 30, so that's going up. For steel, we do need weapons within 6. That's like, that's one of the toughest ones with the weapons within. You do need it pretty high, but that's not going really to be too bad, because if we get more note fragments, we can craft them into the weapons within books, right? So that's another thing. We can craft them into the book that we want to learn, and then we can just learn it, which is really, really good. Uh, sometimes you get lucky and you find, like, jackpots and stuff like that as well, but most of the time... You won't really find too much. Now, uh, I don't know if we actually looted this academy place. It looks like this has been broken into. Um, there's a sleeper in here, so I guess we can go ahead and knock this guy out. Oh, he didn't like that in the head, did he? Okay, let's scrap that for note fragments. But yeah, one reason I wanted to come to the school as well is because there are lockers here which have a chance of giving like books and things. So I definitely want to go and have a, have a look and see what we can find in here. Um, so we can go ahead and do that. Uh, we can scrap that one, which we can't yet. Okay, we can scrap that now, and we can scrap that one. Yeah, so I want to I want to go and quickly loot this academy just because it's it's a building nearby. There's lots of lockers in here, which means there's a good chance to get like books and things, which is you know that's that's, that's just awesome in general. So we're gonna have and see what we can find. Hopefully, we won't get attacked by like a radiator zombie or something because I, I have no like because I I'm, I'm seeing honestly I'm seeing more and more rads now. Um, and it's kind of making me kind of be a little bit nervous because like there's there's a lot of them. Uh, there's like a lot of them I've been seeing recently, like rad spiders. I haven't seen a rad cop yet, but yeah, like rad spiders and rad whites and stuff. Oh, you, you ducked the last hit. They always do that. They're like they, they have this like ninja duck technique. There we go. Right. 
to say? What is going on? Let's say we have something here. All right. Let's go ahead and sort you out. Hello. Gotcha. It's really good to be able to like finish these guys off with a pickaxe as well. I think that's really funny. I like that. Um, oh! Gotcha. Oh, yes! I love it. I, and I especially love it when that happens. That's like, it's so satisfying. I don't know why. It's just it's just ridiculously satisfying when that happens. Oh, we actually got a piece of design from the door as well. That is uh, that's pretty awesome. Right. Is there anyone in here? Uh, nope. Uh, can we search these cabinets? No, we can't. Okay, we can't search those. All right. So we cannot search the cabinets or anything. Let's have a look in here. Uh, and then we can do... Oh, yes! Took the head off. Took the head off. So, man, this thing has a, a really good together. Well, that... that... Oh, she was a feral nurse as well. Oh, treasure map. Uh, can we read that? Or can we not? Let me see. I can. Let's go and read uh, Sarah's treasure map. So we'll read that one. Uh, I think we've read it once before, so I won't like read the whole blurb out again. Because you guys you guys have seen it all before. We've read it, so it's all good. Oh, hello. Okay, plus we got bookshelves in here as well. So each of these rooms has like a bookshelf in it. So there's like a high chance of getting you know, something good from here. Uh, but we will uh, we will see. So there's like business trousers in here. Uh, okay. Hang on a sec, right. Hello. There's a pair of cheerleaders. Right, there we go. Right, so you're out. Okay, so repair both of those. And scrap that and repair that. Oh! There are so many cheerleaders in the school! It's like, this is a, a, another round of triplets, guys. This is like, this is like the, cheer, the, the cheerleader triplets. Woo! Okay, um, wow. Okay, you were, you were noisy. Okay, let's get this guy down. There we go. Nice. Okay, so cheerleader triplets have been taken out. Hawaiian guy has been destroyed. Uh, anyone else in here? Uh, yeah, there's this good guy as well. Okay, come on then. I missed him. There you go. He's now dead. T. Right, and I can drop that glass and I can scrap these guys. There we go. So all the all the clothing and stuff I can scrap. I'm not too worried about keeping hold of that. Uh, leather hood. So yeah, now I can actually start getting note fragments and things because that will allow me to go ahead and you know craft up the science books and stuff because that'd be that'd be awesome. So let's go and find clothes and lockers. Uh, right, go and do that. And uh, go and do that. And then go and do this. And then we can go and scrap. Hang on. Why are you not letting me scrap? Is that taking a while? Okay, that's just taking a while to repair. Right, so it's it's being it's having a funny five minutes. There you go. Come on, what are you doing? Right, okay, yeah, this uh oh that's that's like 45, I know whether it takes ages. Um okay, so then we can go and do that. And scrap those. And our armor crafting is now level 76. So armor crafting is doing really, really well. Um I think we're doing really good with that. So yeah, we're definitely uh, definitely working on raising our skills. That's that's another thing about Fennec, like looting is actually worth it because now you get kind of stuff that you can use in anything you need to, which is really good. So, you know, looting has a wider application of things. I think I might scrap these um Don't get short on pipes, yeah, I might scrap those short iron pipes as well. We don't need them. Uh, it might take a while. How long is that gonna take? That's uh, gonna take like that's it. Well, it's only gonna take like a minute thirty-three. That's that's not bad at all. There you go. And our world just went up. Yay! It did actually decrease because my character was hungry. So yeah, that that did happen. Uh, right. So we can repair those. Uh, oh, there is a science book in here. Yay! There we go. That's awesome. I love I love it when we find science books in there because um, that means that we get more stuff, which is great. Um, okay. Well, yeah. About the short iron pipes. Yeah, I want to scrap those. Uh, car radius. I'll eventually scrap to brass as well. We've done this little bit down here. So this is this lot of rooms done. Let's go into this side. And there is a how's that dude there? He's lost his face. And there's an Edgar! Edgar! Got him. Right. What have we got here? Nothing. And how about you? There you go, 24 paper. I mean I don't really need paper at this at this current point in time, but still, you know, it's it's a nice thing to it's a nice thing to have. I mean I'd much rather like books and schematics so I can scrap them. Because I think we've we've pretty much found most of them. Just a case of just like being able to learn them. Okay, so, oh yeah, do we have any spirits in here? Nice, we do. Okay. Okay, this guy's a feral. There you go, we can knock him out. There you go, gotcha. Oh! How's that do? There we go. Hey! There we go. And what do you have? Coffer, casino coins. Oh, this is scared of my dude. Probably like mechanic parts and stuff. No, he didn't have, actually have anything. Uh, yeah, so we're definitely finding more and more ferals as we go, which I, I'm quite enjoying actually. I quite, I quite like it when we find more ferals and things. So let's assemble that. And then we're just going to scrap this gun. I mean, I don't, I honestly don't need to keep it. So, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't really sell well at the traders. And yes, there's no, there's no point, right? So there's, there's no point really trying to keep it. But let's have a look here. So we've done that room. We've done that room. There's this one. Um, and I can't um, swap that out. Okay, so we have to... Hang on. I need to figure out what I'm doing here. Uh, okay, headlights we can just drop for a minute. That can be scrapped. That can be scrapped. 
then that will give us cloth back, and then that can be scrapped, and that will give us uh, iron back, and then we can pick that up. There you go. So good thing, good thing there's no sleepers in this room, because I could I was very vulnerable at that point. So that was that was a good thing. <laughs> that was a good thing. Otherwise, that that could have that could have ended up a little bit problematic. Okay. So hang on. That piece of wood can go, and we can scrap those. I, mean, I don't need to keep, be keeping on to like one piece of wood, especially because we got like a factory grade axe now. So getting wood is a lot easier. Sniper rifle, we know it, so we can scrap it for a note fragment. But yeah, the school essentially will provide us with like more note fragments and stuff, which I think is really, really handy. Uh, so this we looted already. I think that's the entire downstairs done. Uh, do we do oh, we didn't loot these lockers, so let's have a look in them. Uh, this one. Oh, hello. We have a... Okay, that's the corrosive iron bolt. We do know that one already. And we can take this one, which is... Okay, we'll repair both of those. There we go. Um, is that everything? Is that all the clothing? Oh no, then we have this here as well. Get rid of that. And then we have this one. Actually, that's a really good quality hat. That one. Take that. And is that the last one? Yeah, that's it. Um... Right, there we go. So that looks good. Search lockers. Right, let's just get rid of that mining helmet we found earlier. Uh, or football helmet, even. That's a f funny mining helmet right there. It's like, hmm. That's a rather odd mining helmet you have. Right, let's go up the stairs. Because there's a few more classrooms up here, which potentially has more stuff in it for us. Like, I'm not expecting to find too much here, but it's just sometimes nice to find um, schematics and things. There you go, note fragments, and we can scrap the pair of those for even more note fragments. There we go. So yeah, if we can if we can get like loads of note fragments for this place, that means that essentially we can make ourselves like more science books and stuff, which helps us raise our skills, which is great. So, got that guy. Anyone else in here? Nope, just the skater dude. Just the skater punk dude. Uh, gas cans, we know it. This guy had mechanical parts, so I can take him. And that had nothing in. Alright. Hello, nurse! Get out. Okay, got cash. Alright, go on then, guys. Okay, oh god, okay, right. Okay, alright. New plan! There we go. There we go. All three down. Nice! Yeah, new, new plan. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and sort them out with the uh, with the weapon that we know how to better use. I mean the pickaxe is great, it's more powerful, but the shovel I just know I just know how to use it better, you know. Okay, actually, you know what? Check out the paper. Um, hang on, where was the paper? There it is. Keep the paper, actually, yeah. Uh, I, I can't decide. I'm just like, check the paper, keep the paper. I'm like, I don't know! Right. Uh, right, so we've got a wrench, a jar, we can take that. Yeah, the wrench I'm just going to scrap. The jars I can take. I mean, now I can make our own jars, it's not so much of an issue, but I still want to take them anyway, so, you know. Um, right, so we've got this, and in here we have nothing. So let's go over this way. Uh, did we open this room? We didn't. Oh, yes. Right. This guy. And this guy. So, there's three of them in this room. There we go. Down you go. Right. Military fibers. I will take those. A science book. Nice. And uh, we have sturdy constructions, um, which I do know. That's like the iron bars one. So, we do know that already. Let's have a look here. Nothing in there. And we have... Right. So, let's go ahead and get aviator goals. Flashlight. I don't really want it, so that can stay here. Yeah, we don't, we don't need a flashlight. Okay. Hang on a sec. Right. This one. There we go. Right, let's have a quick look in here. Another science book! Nice! So we're finding some science books in these lockers. So that is a good thing. They're rare, but you do find them sometimes. Okay, so we got that one. Uh, but yeah, it's a good thing that we can, like, sort our note fragments into, into like, books and stuff now. Because that's really handy. Uh, right, so that one, and scrap. There we go. And then we can go in this room. Right, anybody here? Yep, there you are. She almost, like, she almost blended in, like, perfectly with the floor then. Right, so no one there. Anyone here? Scrap the pair of those and scrap this. Okay. Right, so then we can jump down here. And I think that's pretty much the academy all done and looted. I just want to have a you know quick look around here just to see um, what is out here. Okay, is there anyone out the back? I don't think there's anything special out back. There might be some Zeds or something. But let's have a look in the trash and stuff, see what we can get. In here we got wood. Okay, I'll take it. Yeah, I got wood. Tee! Uh, anything in here? Nope. Hello. She needed that. Got you out of the way. And we got some brass. Nice. I will take the brass. I think that's pretty much everything for the academy area. That's, that's, I think that's all there is to it here. Yeah, there's, obviously, there's honestly not that much else to do. And just in time, it's night time. <laughs> Alright, so we need crafting has been halted for something filling my inventory. Let's go quickly back to base then and we're going to drop off the uh, stuff that we got. And then we're going to see if we can read the cement mixing book. There we go. Right, nurse is out. Right, so, oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, she had a stash! She had a stash! Look at that. So we got, wow. 
She had a stash of books. Nice. Okay, we got we got three science books. That's amazing. So that's now thirty three. Oh man, this is how it this is how we level, guys. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, hey, lady. I'm trying to read here. Get out. I'm trying to read. Oh man, what a stash of books! Look at that. That's amazing. So science is now level seventy eight. Science is now nearly level eighty. There we go. Nice. So we, I think we can get science. Uh, we can get science six now. I think. Let's do armor crafting, and we got weapons for the thing. That's good because that's um, a little bit lower. There we go. So let's do that. And again, and then we got tools for the thing as well. So science is now level eighty-two. Wow. And let's go and read these tools. And wow, she had a stash on her. She had a really big stash. That's amazing. Like wow. So we're at seven, we're at science eighty-three, science eighty-four. Man. Okay, we can. Now we're at this high in science. I think we can pretty much do. We can pretty much do like concrete mixing and everything now that we're this high. Uh, let me go and see what we have in here. So science, uh, currently science is a six. Uh, so we can get science quality six now. There we go. And we can get tools from the quality six as well. Um, our crafting quality we can also raise. So yeah, these can be raised to six. Uh, Webstoning is currently at three. That will be able to be raised at 40 though. Oh, that's awesome though. So now that means that we should be able to go ahead and read some more of these schematics if we are, if we are so lucky. Let's have a look. Um, so that needs science 7. Any more of these we could read? I mean, I thought there was some we could do. Corridor reinforcing requires science 6 and construction tool 65. So that's a bit later. Characterization is science 7. Uh, the purification plant is also science 7 as well. Yeah, so that's that's science 7. Uh, squeeze oh, we can do the squeezer. Nice. Learn how to build an industrial squeezer by reading this schematic. Uh, to read this book, you require tool smithing quality 6 and science quality 5. There we go, so we can read that one. Nice, we have that. Uh, steel smithing. I think that requires weapons. Uh, that requires weapon smithing. Um, and for this one, for the alloy forge, we need uh, tool smithing 7. So that's something we have to get later. But yeah, now, now we're pretty much learning stuff, which is really, really good. Because that means we can go ahead and just you know, do stuff, which is great. Um, um, so for the cement mixing one, uh, let's get the let's look at construction tools. How many more points have we got to spend? I got like 56. So let's go and do construction tools. We put that to 50. Let's just yeah, let's just upgrade it. And then we should be able to read the concrete mixing one as well. And then finally we can make a cement mixer, guys, and that's gonna be awesome. Yes, we can finally make the cement mixer, and we can get concrete mix. So now that we've got everything there. I think it's time that we go ahead and uh, we need to get like a cement mix made for our forge house uh, and we can, you know, for our mining outpost that so we can take everything back there. So that's going to be good. So let's go ahead and first of all, put all the spare bits away that we don't really need to be keeping hold of. Uh, and then we're going to figure out how the hell we make a cement mixer. And once we figure that out, we're going to be all good. So these guys can go in here. Uh, glue, brass, there we go. So radiators, glue. Uh, Molotovs is kind of a drink even though we kind of use it as a weapon, because, you know, it's like spirits kind of thing. And then we have the guns and ammo stuff in there. There we go. Excellent. Cool. Um, and that looks all good. And then we have engines and batteries go in tools. So, yeah, as you can see, now we've got a few more engines, so we can make some more things. So, engines and batteries go in tools. Uh, gas goes in here. These guys go in there. Uh, right. So now what we need to do then is we need, we need to essentially start doing cement mixing, right? That's that's the next thing we need to do. So in terms of forges, do I have any spare forges here? No, but I do have a working oven. Oh, actually, I'll tell you what we can do. Now that we got the working oven, I could do the bun in the oven quest to get the oven upgrade here. And don't worry, I'm still going to complete it. However, what I want to do now is go ahead and see how we get an oven upgrade kit, right? So that's that's one thing I want to do now. So oven upgrade kit. This requires two cooking pots, two cooking grills, three duct tape, and five electrical parts. Okay, so that shouldn't be too that should not be too hard to get right now. So we've already got one cooking grill, so that's a good start. And let's see what we've got in here. So we don't have any iron in here, so we're going to need to melt some of it up in order to get what we need. But that's fine, because what we can do is we can grab... Do I have any raw iron here, or is it just this stuff? It's just this stuff, that's fine. Uh, we will need more forged iron and stuff at some point, but for right now, we can go ahead and chuck those guys in here. And then we're going to see if we can get like cooking pots, cooking grills, all that stuff, and make this uh, make this working oven. Because if we make the working oven, that allows us to get access to the best food. So it's going to be awesome. Because that means we've uh, that essentially means that we don't have to like rely on tin for bread and stuff anymore. We get access to all the good foods and stuff. That's going to be it's just going to be awesome. So we can turn that on. There we go. And that will then go ahead and start mixing in. Uh, we can get like uh, we can get like cement out of here. But now what I want to do is wait until we got the iron melted in here. Because once we got that done, we should be able to get a cooking... Uh, we need a couple of cooking pots and a cooking grill. So we need one more cooking grill. So we shall go ahead and get one of those. I don't know if there's anything that I can melt up faster. Is there any, like, tools I can melt up in here? Uh, that I don't really need, like, the factory grade shovel. That's a really crappy one, but I don't know if I can melt that. Same with these. I don't think they can be... They cannot be melted. 
Uh, which is fine. I mean, I'm not too worried about that. The Renshaw could potentially melt in here. That would just give me like a, a quick boost of iron, you know? Hang on, see if I can, if I can drag it. There we go. Oop. Did that work? Yes, there we go. That gave me a boost. There you go. So that gave me a quick boost of iron. I can get two cooking pots. Uh, so we'll get those. Uh, there we go. It just doesn't want me to click on it. Okay, I'm having have a recipe lag, guys. That's the that's the thing. Right. Two cooking pots. There we go. So cook, two cooking grills now, two cooking pots. And we're also going to go ahead and make ourselves uh, as much cement mix as we can. Because that's what I'm going to need for the concrete. So there's cement. And there we go. 1473. Good start. There we go. So there's one cooking pot there. And this one has another few seconds to come out. And then we can finally make a working oven, which is going to be awesome. I'll keep it here for now with like my kitchen stuff. But yeah, working oven is going to be awesome source to get. So we got that. And then we need to go ahead and get duct tape, uh, which is duct tape there. And we also need electrical parts. There we go. That's, that's looking good. Duct tape, electrical parts. Now I should be able to make one. Uh, do I need a workbench for that? Oh, no. It can just be made right here. Hooray! There we go. So let's get our oven down and we can upgrade the thing. Uh, where should I put it? Eh, you know what, I'll just, I'll just put it there for now. Just because it's kind of in our kitchen -y area. Uh, and then all we got to do is let the, uh, let the thing get crafted. I was going to take like 50 seconds to do, but once that's been crafted up, we are going to be able to then upgrade that oven, and then we can use that um, as well. Now let's have a look at the other stations that we've had, have access to now. So one of those is the squeezer, because um, this thing is really good. Like this can, this is like very good. It's like the juicer, but on steroids. So it's five steel, three short iron pipes, electrical, mechanical, a metal trussing block. Okay, so one of them is a metal trussing block. So we need to get one of those out of here. Okay, let me let me stop that just a second then. Uh, so you need one metal trussing block. So let's go and get one of those. So metal trussing, metal trussing block. So let's get one of those guys. There we go. And that takes like that does take a while to get, but that's fine. And I can go back to cement after that, and then we can go and get more of that out. There we go. So this is crafting nice and quickly, because um, yeah, we need we need some for that. So there's our metal trussing block. Uh, which we now have. We need okay, electrical, mechanical, short iron pipes. That's what we need. And well, lo, lo and behold, I did scrap some of my short iron pipes. Oh, that's the point. Oh, we had a steel. Oh, we're not gonna be able to do it. Scrap steel, aren't we? Ah, that may be a problem. All right, in that case, then let's concentrate on the. All right, stop that. We'll concentrate on the cement mixer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and get forged iron out of here because that's the other thing. That's the other thing we're gonna need for the cement mixer. So forged iron, I can get 51. Yeah, that's fine. 51 forged iron out of that, and then we can put the cement back in there. Because I can't get steel yet, we don't have a crucible, and yeah, there's the, the, we just can't get it. So there we go, and then that'll start getting me iron. Um, and the cement mixer, I think, is mechanical parts as well. So yeah, we can't get the squeezer yet, but we can do the oven and the cement mixer. So the cement mixer is, yeah, an engine, springs, forged iron, and mechanical parts. Okay, that's fine. So we have everything to do with that. So we, go, we have four springs. Let's get our crappiest, uh, our crappiest engine, which is this one. The springs, engine, um, forge time, we got a little bit, oh yeah, so we have enough here, um, and then we need mechanical parts, which is just like 10, so that's what we need, 10 mechanical parts, have 182, and then we can start making a cement mixer on this dude, there we go, so one cement mixer, wait, what am I short on, I'm short on, oh we need 25 forge time, hang on a sec, that will be Y, I can put like that, come on, come on me, yeah, we're getting, uh, we're getting some recipe lag, but that's okay, so forge iron, uh, and then cement. Le cement mixer. There we go. Cement mixer, and off we go. Okay, so we have then. Um... Right, let's actually turn this camper off because it's not doing anything. And just We're just burning through charcoal at this rate, and this guy is already off. Excellent, I can't wait to upgrade this thing. So now I think we can. Do we have the upgrade kit? Yeah, we do. We can now go ahead and upgrade our oven and turn it into a working one. Yay, that is awesome. That is awesome sauce. There we go. And lo and behold, huzzah, we have a working oven. And we can make so much good stuff on this now. Like, including all like, the different types of food. There's, there's so much food we can make on this, guys. Like, venison wellington. Ooh, we're going to have to... Ooh, should we try... Ooh, let's make... Yeah, we could try venison wellington. Um, I, bet, I know there's like a... I want to I try some pizzas as well. Actually, let's let's do some pizzas. Yeah, because then I can do pizzas. Let's get the uh, the venison feast pizza if we can. Ah, that requires a tomato, doesn't it? Did we actually plant our tomato seed? I can't remember. Um, we didn't. Okay, I should go and plant that, because we need to grow these things, so... Tomato seeds are rare, so they definitely want to be planted up as soon as possible. So it looks like our aloe is doing well. So let's go ahead and just put it in the corner there. Alright, let's go ahead and harvest all our aloe. Should get a good amount of that from here. 
Okay, so the aloe farm will allow us to get plenty of uh, plenty of aloe cream uh, or aloe juice. But now what we can do, guys, is we can actually, um, well, with the squeezer, we can actually make aloe cream much more efficiently, uh, which is really good. Let's get recipes, aloe cream. No, I want to use aloe vera seeds. Let's get like 50 of them or 60, that'll do. 60 aloe vera seeds. And then with the aloe cream, we could get just like 31 on the, on the juicer, but if we use a squeezer, we actually get more than that, which is going to be really good. But man, there's so many, uh, so many things here. So we can't make the we can't make the venison feast pizza yet. So I don't think any any pizzas are possible to make. So that's fine. So we can, however, do apple pie. Ooh, we can do apple pie. Actually, are there any vegetable dishes we can do? Because I'm I want to get my uh, my vegetables uh, vitality maxed out as well. Um, so that would be ideal if there is such a thing. Um, there's chicken and mushroom pasta. So chicken and sweet corn soup. There's chowder, which requires a load of different types of canned food. Uh, cooked fish, cooked salmon. Let's see what else we got. We got we got doggy do. Um, we got, we've even got uh, we got fish and chips, which is awesome. So we can make that if we want to. Uh, anything else? So we got all the grilled meats. Hunter stew could be a thing. That's got like corn and mushrooms in it, uh, and a can of peas. So there's something something like that would work. Let's see. We got lamb stew. I'm just trying to see like what the uh, pea and ham soup maybe. That requires a uh, can of miso, can of stock, can of... Okay, that's just, just like four canned foods, which is kind of difficult to do. Um, okay, maybe not that. Shepherd's pie, no. Sp oh, spaghetti and venison. Ah, it requires tomatoes as well. Yeah, we, a lot of this stuff needs actually tomatoes as well. Uh, vegetable soup, maybe this would work. Uh, okay, we need a can of miso, a miso stock, peas, potato, ear corn. So do we have those cans? Um, so you have miso, pasta... Uh, piece. So we need. Okay, we need. We need to get some cans of stock then, uh, in order to make those. Because I need to get my. I need to get my veggie buffs um, up and get my vitality up. Because that'd be really, really good. So this guy has now produced all of the forge iron. I think. Uh, still a little bit to go. Let's. Uh, let me go nick some uh, charcoal from one of these. There you go. So we can nick a little bit of charcoal from you, and then you can be going there. There you go. And then we should hopefully have our cement mix ready. There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we are moving up in the world. Hooray! So you can go there. Excellent. And now I can go ahead and use this in order to create all the different shapes of concrete from Concrete Mix, which is awesome. So I can create uh, fertilizer you can still create in the cement mixer. But the other one we should go and look at is the fermenting barrel, right? So let's have a look at that. So fermenting barrel is something that we do know that requires a car air filter, some iron, some wood, and short iron pipes. It's actually like a really easy thing to make. Like it doesn't it doesn't take that much, but it unlocks some really cool like um, alcohol recipes and stuff. So I want to go and see if we can get that. So essentially this um this is literally about getting geared up and like getting all our workstations made because that's 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 an awesome thing so what do we need here so we need regular iron car air filter so now to make a car air filter ready and short iron pipes again okay so we should have those here all right so let's go and make an air filter first so car air filter there we go one of those takes two seconds and once we've got that one then we can go ahead and do the barrel so the fermenting barrel we can go ahead and do that Excellent. That takes like five seconds. That's like nothing at all. So really quick craft. And there we go. Done. And we now have a fermenting barrel as well. Excellent. Look at that. So the fermenting barrel, we're just going to lay like there. And on this recipe, it's mainly for, uh, it's mainly used for alcohol. Now, there'll, there'll be, there'll be other things, but one of the things you can get is blueberry wine. Look at that. So you can, uh, so surprising the blueberries can make such a good wine sweet and a tad bitter uh, so that's made uh, with blueberry juice and you can turn that directly into blueberry wine however it does take a while so anything that like takes a while uh takes a long time to ferment like apple cider and blueberry juice take a little bit longer um whereas the beer doesn't take quite as long but that's like later anyway and you have to get you know you have to get hops for that anyway so yeah, it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a later thing okay so that's all that's uh, that's all that stuff done, and yeah, now we now we have access to the machine. That is awesome. However, I don't think we're going to be able to go to the trader in this episode because it's like you know we're, we're at a point where we'd need to end off um, by the time it gets to like 4 a.m. And I don't really have enough coins to be able to buy any more canned food. So that's you know there therein lies the problem. Um, however, what I can do. Can I just combine these mining helmets together and stuff? Considering my armor crafting so high, can I combine these together? Um, or is it based on it might be based on science, right? Let's see. Um, so maybe as well just combine them. Yeah, that's the highest I can do. Okay. I hear zombies outside. I hear zombies outside. There you go. We'll combine these together. There you go. We can go ahead and do those. And I can just put them away again. There you go. So those guys can be combined together. Awesome source. So now we have less mining helmets in the way. So the military helmets, I suppose, we can just combine them. There we go. So we can do that. And... Oh, it doesn't want to go any higher anyway. Well, how dare you? 
How dare you deny me, silly military helmets. But yeah, I think we're going to need to go ahead and... Uh, we're we're going to need to go ahead and sort things out later. So the squeezer, we can't do yet either, so that's kind of sucky. But we do have aloe, we do have some minor plundered. Then we go plant the farm as well, we may as well get that, uh, keep that going. And then what we can do is make more like the turpentine stuff, because that'd be really good for the healing bandages. Because now, now we've got a good farm set up, we're doing pretty well for like all kinds of healing things. There we go. There we go, um, and we can do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then we can do these guys. There we go, we'll plant those in. I hope I have enough room for all these seeds. I mean, I should really expand out the, I should really expand out the farm just a bit, shouldn't I? But, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it, it does me for now, so. That is all good. There we go, and then we've got that one, and we have this, 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 this one, and this one. And how many seeds have we got left over? Got, oh, we got we got like one seed left over, so yeah, put it there. <laughs> That's fine. We'll just, we'll just put it around as well. It'll it'll work. Um, I think we had a wandering horde just run past, but yeah, I need to start growing those tomatoes so we can make like things like the pizza. Um, so for now. Let's go ahead and get the uh, the aloe cream from here. So we should be able to get 31 from that. And then we should be able to make some more of the uh, the healing agent from that as well, which can be really, really good. Um, so yeah, there's not really too much time to go out to the trader. Um, so what do we want to do for the rest of this episode, guys? So, I mean, I can't really go anywhere. Character is, like, doing fine on food and stuff. I think we're getting an invader. I think we are, yep. Yeah. He is. We're getting... Where are you? There you are. There you go. Got him. Silly bugger. I knew, I knew, I knew someone was here. I was like, I was like, I, someone's coming up here, and I was like, I don't like the sound of this, but I know someone's there. And yeah, there, there, there they were. <laughs> uh, now the other thing I probably should do is make, um, I should probably make myself the uh, a claim block because I don't need workstation removal kits necessarily to pick everything up. So a claim block could be on my next set of stuff to make because you know claim blocks are useful and we can pick stuff up with them. So that might be a good for good for my area. So let's get 111 force out of that. There we go, and then we can go ahead and just, uh, I'll just scrap that, there we go, scrap that for the cloth. Okay, so yeah, we're not really going to get too much more done, um, so actually, what I think I'll do is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to cut to the morning, uh, and then when the traders, uh, when the traders open, I'm going to go uh, cycle to the trader, uh, or right to the trader, sorry, and see if we can get the, uh, see if we can get the canned food that we needed, which was, I think, so we needed a can of, it was a can of stock, wasn't it? Hang on, uh, let me see, veg, uh, tubble. Uh, vegetable stew, oh no, vegetable stew we could do, uh, potato, corn, mushrooms, and boiled water, do we have all that? Let's see, well, we got definitely got corn. We got potato. Do we have mushrooms though? That's the question. I don't think we have as many of those. Corn, potato. Hang on. Fancy salt bun. Do we have mushrooms? I don't actually think we have many, if if at all. Oh no, no, we do have some here. So yeah, potatoes, corn, mushroom, and water. Yeah, that that'll do. We can actually get vegetables through that way because that way we can use that to get our veggie uh, to boost our veggies up. And now we're in a position where we can make the vegetable stew. So let's go and do that. So potatoes, corn. Uh, mushrooms and boiled water. Ooh, hang on. I'm saying I can't craft it. Why can I not craft it? Um, oh yeah, we need a we need a a fuel source, of course. So it's so, so working on, but we still need a fuel source. So let's go ahead and do this one. There we go. And then we can do vegetable stews on that. We should be able to do four of those right away. Excellent. So we can do four of them, and that is awesome. There we go. So we can put those away. Um, now the other thing I could do in regards to so now i can get like clean water i need to get like some murky water because i want to make some more i want to make more turpentine um from the stuff i have and we got loads of logs here that we can make some from and then the same with grain alcohol i want to make some more of that as well because like grain alcohol is now very easy to make so we shouldn't uh we shouldn't have too much trouble making that now as we have done before so because what i want to do is like i want to turn some more of the animal hides we have into leather just so we have that for later use because currently we don't really have that much right like we have some animal hides and things uh somewhere here uh, i think yeah we have we have some animal hides here already but it's like I kind of want to make it, I, I want to put it into a more usable form, because leather is using a lot more than hide, so yeah, it's, it's kind of something I want to do. 
So that's something I can do. But yeah, I think then um, for this point, actually, we're going to cut to. I think we'll just cut to when it's when it's morning, and I'll be I'll be back with you guys once we are at the trader because we got loads of stuff to sell. So the Fadian we can sell, um, the Foxian we can sell, and we can sell all this cash here as well. I'll try and sell them some of these other schematics that I now know. So like this one, I know this one, I do this one. I'll try and sell them some of them. Uh, laboratory upgrades for posh monsters. I will get a working to it at some point, guys. Don't worry. Um, we'll sell them that one. We know the auger. We know that one now. Actually, wait, do we know that one? No, that's advanced. We don't know that one. So we can't sell that one. Um, we could sell, like, we could sell half the silver. Yeah, I'll take that. So we're going to take this to the trader. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and... I guess I'm going to go ahead and just cut ahead to when we are at the trader. And then we can go ahead from there and just do some trading and see if we can get the last thing. So the last thing we needed for that was the can of stock. I can eat that now. There we go. That'll get me up to 100, and hopefully at some point that will give me my uh, my veggie vitality buff as well. Um, although I think veggies we're kind of lacking in, um, so we need to kind of try and find a way to increase our veggie intake. Because currently there's uh, we we uh, we haven't really done that right, so we do need to try and find a way. But yeah, getting more canned food and stuff, doing some trading is always a surefire way to help out. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out here, and then once it's like morning, I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna ride around and just you know do stuff. Once it's morning though, I will go ahead and meet you guys when we are at the trader and we can go ahead and see if we can buy um i want to buy like canned food i also want to see if i can buy like more concrete mix from him as well because that's something else that we do need and i don't know if we're going to be able to get that ready in time for day 21 so you know there's a, there's a few things that we have to do so let me go ahead and just like do a quick jump cut here guys and i will be right back Alrighty guys, we are at the traders, so let's go ahead and see if we can uh, buy some stuff. Oh, we're already getting interrupted by a zombie. Good morning. Oh, I took, oh, yeah, little, you little bugger. Wow. Okay, that was uh, that was, that was unexpected. Uh, oh, exploding arrow and bolt schematic. Well, that was a, that was a good one. Yay! We now know how, know how to make exploding arrows and crossbow bolts. That is awesome. So let's go in the trader. Uh, hopefully, this guy is uh, not going to kick me out like the other one did. Uh, yeah, look, looks fine. Looks fine. We good? Hey. I'll sell you goods, but if you cross me, you'll meet the wrong end of my 44. Well, he's pleasant, isn't he? Right, let's go ahead and sell everything to him. So let's go and sell everything we can to him. And uh, skill and is now level 30. So we're doing pretty well on the barter skills. That's already good. So let's go ahead and just sell him loads of stuff here. There you go, because I kind of want to sell him, like, the lowest value items first, because it's just like... So base price for money is actually 6 now. Actually, money is selling for a good amount now. It will eventually raise um, to seven, I would have thought, but we'll sell this first because by doing this, we're actually kind of raising the other one. Now I know it's, I know it's like this, but I'm selling it one at a time. Actually, we could probably sell it in batches of like 200 or something, because um, that's probably going to be better. There you go, there you go, and I got our basket up as well. So skin and is now level 31. Very nice. Because uh, as we do this, we get like uh, I, w I want to make the Fadium and Foxium worth more kind of thing. So we definitely want to sell those like one at a time. So let's do the auger, and we got cement mixers. And then we've got Jerry in the bank, and then we got armor. Then we got this one, and then we got the painting one. Very good. Did you buy jars? Yeah, you buy them for five each. So that's fine. Um, so there we go. We now got over 25k. And then the foxium. You'll see that slowly but surely that foxium price is increasing, which is good. And then this one. There we go. And then we can sell the raw fadium as well. There we go. We actually made quite a bit of money from that. And we leveled up. We're now level 80. Nice, that is awesome. And Skill and Vart is now level 33. Excellent, so we have leveled up, which is awesome source. So before we end off the episode, guys, let's go and see what the trader has in store, shall we? Sounds like a wandering horde is kind of meandering through the area. Um, he does have gunpowder. I want to see if he has, like, concrete mix and stuff like that. Like, he has rounds and ammo and stuff, which is great in all, but... Hmm. I don't know. Hmm, you have rebar, though. But do you have what I want, which is the concrete mix? I don't think you do. Uh, he's got nitro powder. I'll buy coal and nitro powder because that's you know relatively easy to get. Um, uh, cement mix. Oh, we can we can now we can do the concrete mix. Now we can buy cement mix. That's gonna cost like 24k, but I will buy all that because that's a lot. That's a lot of cement mix. We may as well buy it. Uh, he's selling lead cast. Oh, he's selling concrete mix as well directly, which I cannot buy all of. Okay, that's gonna cost me. Right, let's go and see if we can buy like enough of this to keep me going because yeah concrete mix now is uh, a little bit less uh, a little bit less forgiving on price it used to be actually quite easy to get but now it's a bit less forgiving there you go you can buy all that as well so he does have more concrete mix um cost of do we even know that yeah we do okay i was, I was gonna say i was like i swear i was like i swear we don't know that kind of thing um and yeah what we can do is sell the 
I guess sell the repair kits to him because we don't really need those now. There we go. Thanks, buddy. And now we can go to the vending machine. Does have does have a can of stock? Has a can of peas? Can of pears? Nah, no cans of stock. That's the problem. Yeah, we need we need to find cans of stock, guys. That's uh, that's the one thing that we need to go ahead and do. Uh, let me see if he's got one. Hey asshole! You better not bring any diseases can into my of... store. No, just trash can, can of cat food, candle. No, no cans of stocks. Uh, okay, Watch that's, yourself, uh... stranger. I know some fellas who break legs for coin. Hmm. He's a nice guy. Right, let's go ahead and close this door. Alright then, guys. Well, um, although we didn't manage to get uh, any of the cans of stock that we were after, we managed to sell lots of the trade out and we got loads more cement and concrete mix, which is actually really good, because now we can actually head back um, and start... You know, producing uh, concrete in our base, which is going to be really, really good. So that's something that we should now be able to do very easily, which is going to make the whole base building thing a little bit easier. So I think for the day 21 base, we're going to use a pretty similar setup for day 14, honestly. Um, unless you guys just want me to run around outside and just like AK them and have some fun with the guns, which I think actually might be quite fun. I th actually, you know what? I think we should. I think we should do that. We should focus on like, we should focus on like getting the concrete mix and stuff um, set up. But like we should then use that in our own build rather than one that we've already done, and like start making our own base because I think that'd be much better, and it'll be I think it'll be a much nicer thing. So otherwise, you guys will see you have exactly the same experience you had last week with the horde, pretty much. You know, it might be a bit tougher, but that's that's all you get. So yeah, I kind of want to give you a little bit of variation. Um, so yeah, I think we'll do that. So I think guys, we're at a pretty good point to end off the episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. So until then, bye.